hello friends in today's lecture we will study about blast <coughs> it is a tool used in bioinformatics it is basic local alignment search tool if you want to know about how to operate the blast you simply have to clear write ncbi in the google open the ncbi website and there is blast present at the home page of ncbi now we should know what is we should know about the blast blast in bioinformatics blast for basic local alignment search tool is an algorithm for comparing primary biological sequence information such as amino acids sequences of proteins or nucleotides or dna sequences a blast search enables a researcher to compare a query sequence with a library or database of sequence and, and, and identify library sequences that resemble the query sequence above the certain threshold. Different types of blasts are available according to the query. If I open the home page of the blast, you can see nucleotide blast, blast X, T blast N, protein blast. And if you go at the bottom, smart blast, primer blast, global align, CD search, C dot, middle block, mode, mole blast, and different other um, blast tools are present at the home page of the blast. For, for following the discovery of previously unknown gene in the mouse, a scientist will uh, typically perform a blast search of human genome to see if human carry a similar gene blast will identify sequence in the human genome that resemble the mouse gene based on the similarity of sequence. The blast algorithm and, uh, and program were designed by Stephen Eshul, Warren Gish, Webb Miller, Eugene Myers, and David J. Lipman at the National Institute of Health and was published in the Journal of Molecular Biology in 1990 and cited over 50,000 times. There are certain uses of BLAST. BLAST is helpful for different purposes. which are BLAST can be used for several purposes. These include identifying species, locating domains, establishing phylogeny, DNA mapping, and comparison. Identifying SEEP species. With the use of BLAST, you can possibly correctly identify species or find homologous species. This can be useful, for example, when you are working with a DNA sequence from an unknown species. You can locate domains. When working with a protein sequence, you can input it into BLAST to locate known domains within the sequence of interest. Establishing phylogeny using the uh, results receiving through BLAST, you can create a phylogeny phylogenetic tree using the BLAST web page. Phylogenies based on the BLAST alone are less reliable than other purpose built computational phylogenetic methods, so you should only be relied upon for first pass phylogenetic analysis. DNA map mapping. When working with the known species and looking to sequence a gene at an unknown location, BLAST can compare the chromosomal position of the sequence of interest to relevant sequences in the database. Comparison. When working with genes, BLAST can locate uh, common genes in two related species and can be used to map annotations from one organism to other. BLAST is a very useful tool in the bioinformatics. It's big, uh, BLAST is one of the most widely used bioinformatics program for sequence searching. It addresses the fundamental problems in bioinformatics search. The heuristic algorithm it uses is much faster than the other approaches such as calculating and optimal alignment. This emphasizes emphasize on speed is vital to make the algorithm practical on the huge genome databases currently available. All the subsequent algorithms can be even faster. Before BLAST, FASTA was developed by David J. Lipman and William R. Pearson in 1985. Before FAST algorithms such as BLAST and FASTA were developed doing, uh, developed doing database searches for protein and nucleic sequences was very time consuming because a full alignment procedure um, was used. While BLAST is faster than any Smith's Waterman implementation, for most cases it cannot guarantee the optimal alignment of the query and database sequences. The uh, optimality of the Smith's Waterman ensured the best performance on accuracy and the most precise results at the expense of time and computer power. 
Blast is more time efficient than faster by searching only for the more significant pattern in the sequences, yet with comparative sensitivity, this could be further realized by understanding the algorithm of Blast introduced below. Examples of other questions that researchers use Blast are which bacterial species have a protein that is related in lineage to a certain protein with known minor set sequences? What other genes encode proteins that exhibit structures or motifs such as ones that have just been determined? BLAST is also used as part of other algorithms that require approximate sequence matching. The BLAST algorithm and the computer programs that implement it were developed by Stephen Eshul, Von Gish, and David Lipman at the U.S. National Center for Biotechnology Information. In the, when you are going to input the sequence in the BLAST, you need FASTA or GenBank for bank format. And in the output, BLAST output can be delivered in a variety of formats. These formats include HTML, plain text, and XML formatting. Using heuristic method, BLAST finds similar sequences by locating short matches between two sequences. This process of finding similar sequences is called seedings. If it is after this first match, the BLAST begins to make local alignments while attempting to find similarity in sequences. Sets of common letters known as words are very important. For example, suppose that the sequence contains the following stretch of letters like A, T, G, C. If a BLAST was being conducted under normal conditions, the word size would be uh, three letters. In this case, using the given stretch of letters, the search word would be uh, would change into uh, three letter uh, uh, codons of three letters A T G and G T C and C T A and so on. The heuristic algorithm of BLAST locates all common three letters words between the sequence of interest and the hit sequence or sequences from the database. This res result will then be used to build an al alignment. After making words for the sequence of interest, the rest of the words are also sampled. These words must satisfy a requirement of having score of at least threshold T when compared by using a scoring matrix. One common, common commonly used scoring matrix of last search is Blossom 62. Although the optimal scoring matrix depends on the sequence similarity, once both words and neighborhood words are assembled and compiled, they are compared to the sequence in the database in order to find matches. The threshold score T determines whether or not particular word will be included in the alignment. Once seeding has been conducted, the alignment, which is only three results long, is extended in both directions by algorithm using BLAST, and it will give you the resultant. It will give you the result of similarity searches. It is the home page of BLAST. If you are going to do nucleotide BLAST, you have to click on it and open it. Once you will open the nucleotide BLAST, its home page will be opened. Now you have to find a sequence of nucleotides. I have selected nucleotide from here and wrote, I wrote red here. When I clicked on this sequence, Retus norwegicus G protein coupled receptor 182, I found this nucleotide sequence. It is in the FOSTA format of ATGC. Now I copied this sequence and pasted it in nucleotide blast homepage here you can see enter session number or foster sequence is written here i uh, i put my query in the form of foster format then i have selected human genome transcript i want to see this red gene similarity in human uh, its homology with human or uh, human genetic material or its similarity with human genetic material. Then I clicked on algorithm. If you see plus sign here, you will, if you will click on it, it will open another part of the screen. If you will select 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, you will select match or mis mismatch score. I have selected 1 to 4. Then homo sapiens at the bottom. Then I clicked on the blast. 
I've got these results. You can see it has it has given us the similarity of this that red sequence with the human genome. It has shown at the places where human it is similar to human genome. You can see e value e raised to power minus four uh, one thirty one. It is less than e raised to power minus four. Anything which is lesser than e raised to power minus four is similarity index with the uh, with the with your required sequence or your desired sequence. You can see it is uh, it has different similarity index. The detailed information of each sequence is present at the bottom. It is the first one, uh, first sequence which is similar to the, your um, the desired sequence of red. You can see identities. Identities 774 over 904, 85 percent identical. Gaps zero gap in 904. So these it's this sequence uh, of human genome is similar is 85 percent similar identity has identities 85 percent of identities with the desired sequence which has given. Similarly, other sequences of human are present at the bottom. Homo sapiens G protein coupled receptor 182, GPR 182 transcript variant X to mRNA. It is also 85% similar to our uh, to the sequence which has which was given in the blast. So it has given us similarity index here. Now if you want to do protein blast, you simply have to click on protein blast select protein from here and click on the right 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 and click on the search you will get protein sequences of the rats simply click on this one faster format you will have this sequence of amino acids here Copy it. You can see G P G G A G E S. These are the letters coded for different amino acids like uh, methionine for M for methionine and uh, G for glycine and other nucleotide other uh, single letter codes for amino acids. Now you have opened the protein blast. Uh, you can copy your faster format here. Now. You can select any sort of database from here like reference protein sequence i have selected reference sequence protein i did not select that non-redundant sequence now go to algorithm and use you have you have used blossom 62 here you are going to use we are going to use blossom 62 here you can change it to with other but we are going to use Blossom 62. If you want to select anything from here, like no adjustment, composition-based statistics, conditional composition, compositional score matrix, matrix adjustment, universal compositional score matrix adjustment, you can select any one. I'm going to work with conditional compositional score matrix adjustment. Now, if you click here, you will get result into another screen. Click on the blast and get your desired, desired results it will take some time it will it could take time from few seconds to some minutes to it will depend on your internet connection i already opened the sequences for and similarity indexes for our nucleotides because uh, it is a heavy database and it works a little bit slowly require some time and during that time we will see uh, there are a list of possible matching words in this process blast and fasta fasta cares about all of the common words in the database and query sequences that are listed there here blast only cares about high scoring words the scores are created by comparing the word in the list in step two in uh, in here by using the scoring matrix substitution matrix to score 
comparison of each test, it appears there are 22 raised to power 3 possible match scores for three letter words. You can see results of our desired sequence are here. You can see different sequences are here. These are 100% similar. These are 99%. And you can see their E values are lesser than minus 4. If its E value is lesser than minus 4, it is a good match you found. And their detailed information is present at the bottom. You can compare it with these two to find your results. You can check anyone and you can get your specific result. You can click on specific one and you will reach to the result of the specific result. So friends, it was all about the blast. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.